melting all over your face. All right, Con Con, appreciate you for rocking with Nine Spiral. I'd like to give a shout out to Rude Boys. What up, G LeBold, man? G LeBold, man. He part of the Rude Boys. I had an opportunity to work with him. Me and Saku. Down in Georgia, Atlanta. All right, let's keep it going. Let's get some of Jeremiah. I seen something just then. I swear I was just flipping through the book and I seen something. Let's get this. Now I'm gonna show you how dangerous it's gonna this is gonna give us a sense of how dangerous the most high's face is and how serious it is, right? This is coming out of Jeremiah chapter 21, verse 8 through 10. Let's get it. Now you shall say to this people, thus says the Most High, Behold, I set before you the way of life and the way of death. You see, because the Most High always gives us a choice, right? As parents would do their children. Don't you see that this is a family affair? Huh? Now he says, Behold, I set before you the way of life and the way of death, huh? He who remains in this city shall die by the sword, by famine, huh? These are judgments, and by pestilence. But he who goes out and deflects, huh? Defects, Shalaki, or to the Chaldeans who besiege you, he shall live, and his life uh, shall be as a prize to him. Huh? Listen, verse 10. Listen now. Uh, for I have set my face against this city for adversary, for adversity, Shalaki, and not for good, says the Most High. It shall be given into the hands of the king of Babylon. And he shall burn it with fire. Why? Because verse 10. For I have set my face against this city. For adversity and not for good. So when the Most High turns his face against some. It's not good. All right, and that brings us to Ezekiel 39. Ezekiel 39, and I swear when I read this when I was incarcerated, I felt goosebumps, man. I mean, it was just amazing. But I was feeling so good, I think I gave my bunkmate a honey bun. I said, nigga, here. I'm feeling good, shit, boy. We talking about the face. All right, Ezekiel 39, chapter 39, verse 21 through 29. Let's get it. I mean, it never gets old. Before we do that, let's go back. Let's go back. I want to show you this precept right quick. Let's go back uh, to Deuteronomy. Hope I don't lose my spot. All right, let's go back to Deuteronomy 32. Thirty-two. What was that? Thirty-two. Eighteen. Let's start at eighteen. All right. Now let's start at uh, let's start at twenty. Now let's start at nineteen. Now keep it in mind. Now, when the Most High saw it, he spurned them because of the provocation of his sons and his daughters, and he said, "I will hide my face from them." All right. I will see what their end will be, for they are a perverse generation, 
children in whom is no faith. Now, what is the conclusion? Ezekiel 39, verse 21, I will set my glory among the nations. All the nations shall see my judgment, which I have executed. And that has happened. Everybody's seen your judgment, Israel. Everybody witnessed your judgment. Now it's time for us to witness theirs. And my hand which I have laid on them. So enough. And let me tell you something. When the most high whoop your ass, it hurts more than death. Just a warning to the other nations, right? And so that the house of Israel shall know that I am their power from that day forward. See that? The Gentiles shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their inequity. Why? Because they were unfaithful to me. Therefore, I hid my face from them. And I gave them into the hand of their enemies. And they all fell by the sword. What about your crucifixion, Israel? Huh? According to their uncleanness and according to their transgressions, I have dealt with them and hidden my face from them, huh? Now, here's where it gets real interesting, right? Now we're getting to the meat. Let's go. Verse 25. Therefore, thus says the Most High. Why? You see, we're not going to tell you what man say because man lies every time. Not some of the time, but every time. <laughs> And so we're going to tell you, thus says the Most High Hawaii. Now, huh? I will bring back the captives of Jacob, and I will have mercy on the whole house of Israel. And I will be jealous for my holy name. After they have borne their shame and all their unfaithfulness in which they were unfaithful to me, right? Prophecy, listen now, pay attention. When they dwelt safely in their own land and no one made them afraid. So this is after we're dwelling safe, safely, right? When I have brought them back from the peoples, okay, and gather them out of their enemies' lands, okay, and I am hallowed in them in the sight of many nations, okay, then they shall know that I am the most high their power, right? <laughs> you thought I was going to cut it off who sent them into captivity among the nations okay but also did what brought them back to their land you see that not only that and left none of them captive any longer. You see that? None of them captive any longer. Why? You might ask. 
And the Most High says, For I shall have poured out my spirit, my Roach, on the house of Israel, says the Most High. <sighs> uh-huh. 